It's time. It's time. It's all about time. Tick tock, folks. Time. Is that a big enough hint? It's time to get catified. Let's go. What I want to talk about today is technically the concept of daylight savings time, spring ahead, fall back. You know, there's a time every year where we switch our clocks, technically, to compensate for increasing or decreasing sunlight. Now here's the thing, you might find this really strange, but I'm sure you've noticed that your cats go pretty wonky right around this time. So really, we're gonna talk about circadian rhythm, body clock. And we all have a, a programmed notion of what happens in a 24 hour time span. Let's talk about cats. Just the raw cat, let's break it down. Cat Mojo 101, the raw cat. What is in the back of a cat's head? Well, we know that they're sleeping in order to gear up for the hunt. And they wake up and they're ready. How do they know when to sleep and when to hunt? Well, part of it's programmed into them. They're crepuscular beings. Their natural prey is out during the dusk and dawn hours, right? So uh, if you're a cat, you know that the voles and the mice and every other little creepy crawly uh, around the garden are up and at them at dusk and dawn. So that makes cats just programmed to do that dusk and dawn hunting. The circadian rhythm of cats, and studies have shown this, are totally affected by us. So there's the natural raw cat circadian rhythm here, dusk and dawn, dusk and dawn, hunt, catch, kill, eat at dusk and dawn. And then there's this, us humans. So the, the difference between a cat who is allowed to just be in the house and roam in and out, in and out all day, and a cat that's in, let's say an apartment, where maybe they have structured time out for a couple hours a day, there's a huge difference in when they're up and down. When you and your family get up in the morning, Boom, energetically, everything explodes. Of course, the cat's gonna explode with you. Same thing happens when you guys come home uh, from work and school. Now, as we approach daylight savings time, what happens? The thing is that cats are incredibly routine oriented. Now, how do they determine what's on time and what's not on time? As I've said, because they're crepuscular, it's the position of the sun. So if you've ever noticed, your cat follows the sun during the day. They'll go to one window where the sun is coming up and as the sun moves, so do your cats move. So what happens when we turn the clocks ahead or back? Well, at 5.30, let's say, uh, when it was starting to get dark, your cat knows it's dinner time and they start hounding you for dinner. Well, it's not really dinner time. It's really too early right now. So what we do, mistake-wise, I think, is we, we acquiesce. We say, oh, you know, I get it, you're hungry, let me feed you. As we approach daylight savings time, remember, keep your routines the same, that your cat will adjust. Let's remember something. Cats are a slave to their own grind. The cat's social structure, their needs to eat and hunt and play, and when they sleep, all dependent on the position of the sun. Studies show that, that cats actually sleep just about 10 hours a day, sometimes 12. That's it, you know what they're doing the rest of the time? They're looking out the window. They're following the sun as the day goes on. You are responsible for keeping your cat's rhythm intact. So when daylight savings time comes, just stick to it. Remember, it's like your cats have jet lag. And if you had a child with jet lag, what would you do? Would you feed them lunch at four o'clock in the morning? No, what you would do is just tell them it's all gonna be okay, but we're gonna keep our structure as it is. Think about this. It's not only the position of the sun, but it's the moon as well. Have you ever noticed that around the full moon, your cats go insane? Because suddenly there's so much more light coming into your home. What can you do about it? That's your homework. Your homework for daylight savings time starts now, before daylight savings time kicks in before the switch in the clocks happen. What you need to do is get your cats into a routine. This is why I'm so big on feeding your cats meals and not allowing them to free feed around the house. Not only do you wanna keep their rhythm together when it comes to eating and playing and sleeping, but think about where they sleep during the day. Expose as much sun sleepy spots as you possibly can. Put those scent soakers out around uh, the, the windows because again, your cat creates a sundial of where they go during the day based on the position of the sun. Keep windows open, make sure that your cats have light, plenty of it as well. And I'm telling you, you will see great 
changes in your cat's behavior. And you're gonna need this because the next time on Cat Mojo, I'm gonna talk to you about how you can sleep through the night when your cat doesn't want you to sleep through the night. Oh, that's a good one. Now in the meantime, please leave comments. Let me know what you're thinking about. Let me know about the questions you might have. Uh, the more questions I get, the more that get answered, man. Besides that, uh, I want you to stay tuned. We have Google Hangout coming up at the end of this month where you can ask me questions live. Uh, we've got the premiere of My Cat From Hell coming up in the next mm, couple of months. I'll keep you informed on that, but you'll only know all this stuff if you subscribe. Hey, watch the Animalist Network. There's fun stuff on here every single day. Find me on Google and Facebook. I am where you are, and I am where the cats are. Anyhow, uh, until next time, all light, all love, all mojo to you. Mm -hmm. I love you. I'm not a bad cat. You're a bad cat. I'm not a bad cat. You're a bad cat. I'm just misunderstood. Meow.